ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to all of you who have gathered here today. Before moving on to today's proceedings, I would like to kindly request that all participants keep your microphones switched off to avoid any disturbances that may occur. On behalf of the Department of Social Sciences, I warmly welcome you all to the inauguration event of short course on cultural linkages towards an Asian ideology and invite you to be a part of this journey by integrating cultures towards an Asian ideology and bridging the gaps that keep us apart. General Sir John Kotalawala Defense University is an establishment entailing the life-defining individualities of discipline, honesty, courage, and virtue. KDU is also known for its emphasis on improving knowledge and building professional persona. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now play the KDU anthem. We kindly request you to keep both your mics and cameras switched off till the end of the national anthem. They shall not grow old, as we that are left to grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor do the years condemn. And they whom shall pass for their country. Pierce an honored grave, for glory lights a soldier's tool, and beauty weaves the brave. Let us observe one minute of silence and commemorate the ultimate sacrifice of our fallen war heroes.
Thank you. I now humbly invite Mr. Kitsiri Amaratunga, Dean, Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities, to welcome the gathering. Over to you, sir. Can you hear me, please? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am pleased to deliver the welcome address at the inauguration of the third consecutive short course on cultural linkages towards the nation ideology conducted by the Department of Social Sciences of the Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities, ADU. The first course on cultural linkages towards the nation ideology was conducted in the year 2020 with, of course, a generous grant from the Eurasia Foundation in Japan. And on the success of the program, the foundation extended its grant for the year 2021 to conduct the same program for the second time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad that the Eurasia Foundation has extended the grant for the successive third year in 2022, which we are happy to inaugurate today. Since 2020, we have conducted this program uh, for an interested group of undergraduates representing all academic faculties of KDU. And in both years, the lecturing panel included academics of different disciplines, like Professor, uh, different disciplines, and also importantly, eminent personalities like Professor Yoji Sato, the chairman of the Eurasia Foundation, Professor Hajime Tozaki, senior professor, Jun Konshun, representing the Eurasia Foundation, and Venerable Professor Madagoda Abiyati Sotero, Venerable Bopiti Sumangalatero, uh, Cabinet Ministers, Honorable Kelly Rambapella, and Honorable Suresh Raghavan, the former Chief Justice in Sri Lanka, Justice Mohan Kwiris, Honorable Justice Yasanta Kodagoda, etc. This indicates the variety and quality of topics covered under the main theme, cultural linkages towards an Asian ideology. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my greatest pleasure to welcome the distinguished audience uh, joining this inauguration online this afternoon. First, I would like to welcome with honor our chief guest this afternoon, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Defense and Administration, Brigadier Vipula Chandra Siri, who with his administrative guidance has been a pillar of strength for the successful implementation of the project from the beginning. I respectfully welcome you, sir, to this inauguration while especially appreciating your guidance, advice, and unwavering support in all our activities. Ladies and gentlemen, had it not been for Professor Hajime Tosaki of Oblin University, Japan, this course would never have been introduced here at KDU. It was with Professor Hajime's intervention on the request of Dr. Himanta Premaratna of the Department of Social Sciences that we were able to avail the Eurasian grant for this project. Professor Hajime has also been largely instrumental in expanding our links with Japan to go for larger projects between Japan and KDU. For instance, the commencement of a student exchange program with Dobring University and signing of an MOU with the same university to explore possibilities of implementing mutually beneficial projects. Professor Hajime, it is a great honor for me to gratefully welcome you to this occasion as our guest of honor. Let me also welcome our Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Sanat Dhammika, who gives us academic leadership and guidance for all our academic activities. 
And also I welcome the deans of other faculties of KDU, center directors, heads of departments, senior professors, professors, academics, and senior officers and administrative staff present at this event. Next, I especially welcome the students who are registered for this course this year, representing all faculties of KDU. Dear students, I'm glad about your interest in this particular course. And I'm confident that irrespective of differences in your fields of study, this course will make a lasting impact on your knowledge horizons. It will open you to a larger world and you will realize the strength of our cultures and how strong we could be as individuals, societies and nations. Uh, when we identify our commonalities and minimize differences to achieve goals for the common good of humanity. Ladies and gentlemen, this course on cultural linkages towards the nation ideology at KDU would never have been possible but for the initiative and commitment of Dr. Himanta Premaratna, senior lecturer in the Department of Social Sciences of KDU. It was his long lasting link and friendship with Japan as a scholar who pursued his master's and PhD education in Japan that paved him the way to obtain the grant from the Eurasia Foundation with a great assistance from Professor Hajime Tozaki. It was through his meticulous coordination that we could ensure success in this program as well as the student exchange program. We as a faculty wish to see further expansions of our links with Japan and Japanese universities and higher educational institutions, bringing in further benefits to KDU and to Sri Lanka. Like the way the One Asia Foundation from Japan has expanded its scope as the Eurasia Foundation, combining Asia and Europe under the leadership of its founder, the chairman, the philanthropist, Professor Yogi Sato, we too expect to expand our scope as the South Asian hub in, 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 in Sri Lanka, uh, South Asian hub of Japan in Sri Lanka relations. I must also mention the contribution of the head of the department, Mr. Nuan Herat, and all, other, all the others in the Department of Social Sciences, as well as the faculty who wholeheartedly support this project. Finally, uh, I conclude welcoming all of you to this inauguration and wishing you that the third course on cultural linkages towards an Asian ideology will be even a greater success than the first two courses. And I also wish to make mention of the fact that although our Vice Chancellor, Major General Melinda Pires, is not available for this inaugural function, it, is, it has been his uh, enthusiasm and uh, encouragement given by him to us all the time uh, for conducting this kind of programs that helped us immensely to conduct uh, this program. So I may make, make mention of uh, him uh, at this inaugural moment as well. And finally, I request all students to reap the maximum benefit uh, from, from the course through active participation, which may open you for possible future opportunities. I thank you. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, we have a short video prepared by the students of the Department of Social Sciences. This video will show you a recap of the previous courses, provide an introduction about the Eurasia Foundation in Japan and introduce you to the new course being inaugurated today. Explore complex societies and cultures, regional cooperation and economic development, the law, politics, security and defense. Uncover the role of gender, ethics,
seeking and many more discover the asian ideology a short course on cultural linkages towards an asian ideology to give students a firm grounding of issues and themes relevant to asia enabling them to think across disciplinary boundaries to tackle issues of global and regional relevance organized for the second consecutive year by the department of social sciences of the faculty of management social sciences and humanities of the general sir john kutilavala defense university in the world and the creation of a harmonious and peaceful society for everyone on earth. An Asian community with a common identity. We are very pleased to be able to hold this course at a wonderful university like KDU. To initiate collaborations with leading international donor communities for my dean this course was previously conducted for students of intakes 36 and 37 and this is what it looked like and i intend to present to you the legal systems of a few sub regions of asia in asia we do not share any other language that is common to the Asian nation. India's role in the Asian community. The topic is the influence of Buddhism on Asian culture. Asia is the fastest uh, developing in terms of economy and stock. Funded by a research grant from the Eurasia Foundation from Asia in Japan. Eurasia Foundation from Asia is a non-profit organization which supports activities that stimulate common sense values among Asian people through economic, educational and cultural exchanges. The aim of such activities is to create a rich, peaceful and secure Asian community where people can live together, each holding their own dreams and hopes, which will result in global peace and security. The General Sir John Kutilavala Defence University, which has always been a centre for integration from being the first military academy in the country to train all military forces together, from being the first to bring military and civil society education together, is proud to be a force in integrating cultures towards an Asian ideology and here are some things our past students have to say about the course. It made me learn about the economic crisis of Sri Lanka, different perspective of gender around the South Asian region and different cultures of, about the countries such as like Japan and many more. Throughout this short course we have learned about the existing cultural linkage in Asian region to have a peace and secure Asia. I gain new knowledge and information about Asian culture and Asian ideology. And I recommend this course for other batches as well. This course helped me to broaden my perspective on the rich cultural heritage and the uniqueness and identity of Sri Lanka and Asia. As future military officers, this really gave me a good opportunity to understand and learn about cultural identity of Sri Lanka when representing global communities. It is a really a good experience for me to gather knowledge regarding different ideologies.
ladies and gentlemen we now humbly invite the chief guest of today's occasion brigadier vipula chandrasiri rsp usp psc the deputy vice chancellor defense and administration of general sir john putalawala defense university to address the gathering over to you sir thank you our guest speaker today professor hajimi tosaki joining online the deputy vice chancellor academic professor sanad damika all officials of eurasia foundation joining online all distinguished resource persons of the course dean faculty of management and social sciences and humanities mr kistri amartunga head department of social sciences mr nuan herat course coordinator dr hemant premaratna deans directors senior professors heads of departments senior military officers members of the academic and non academic staff officer cadet day scholars ladies and gentlemen good evening it is with great pleasure that i address you on behalf of the vice chancellor of the kdu at this inauguration ceremony of the third short course on cultural linkage towards an asian ideology 2022-2023 organized by the department of social sciences of faculty of management social sciences and humanities of othalawa defense university we are very glad that our department of social sciences has received a valuable grant by the eurasia foundation from asia in japan for the third consecutive year in order to continue the short course for more students under this grant the department of social sciences will conduct a series of lectures by an distinguished panel of local and international experts who 133 undergraduates of intec 38 and intec 39 from all faculties of kotharal defense university the topics covered in this course are broad and include regional integration politics language and law to name a few these lectures will give our student well rounded understanding of asian culture ladies and gentlemen as a defense university we consider it is important to instill values of peace and harmony in our youth the mission of eurasia foundation which is i quote to contribute to the elimination of all conflicts in the world and creation of a harmonious and peaceful society for everyone and on god this is very much in line with the objective of us we are therefore very glad to have an opportunity to conduct a short course of this nature and are very thankful for the generosity shown by the eurasia foundation by awarding for the defense university with this grant for the third consecutive time we look forward to using this resource to help our students gain a deep intellectual understanding and respect for diversity i must also mention that department of social sciences recently took a group of students on study tour to japan where the students were able to get a first hand experience of an asian culture different to their own this was a valuable opportunity for our students and we are very appreciative of the officials and organizations from japan who made this tour a reality we as kdu firmly believe in believe in the importance of such cultural linkages and look forward for further collaboration with japan and other asian countries as well before i end up my speech i would like to express my sincere appreciation to the chairman of eurasia foundation uh, professor yuji sato and his board for once again awarding kdu with this valuable grant i am hopeful that this will be a pathway to stronger relationship between japan and sri lanka i am also very thankful to you our guest speaker today professor hajimi tasaki of john f of brain university japan he has taken a great initiative as well as put in tremendous amount of work 
to create this relationship between KDU and Japan. I personally thank you, Professor, for that. The result of his effort are seen in the short course as well as the study tour to Japan, which I mentioned previously. I also thank the course coordinator, Dr. Hemant Premaratna, for his work towards this course. I am so glad that to see the successful completion of these previous courses and will continue to giving my what was the possible support to make this course as we equally successful. Finally, I congratulate the students selected to follow this course and encourage you to make the best use of this valuable opportunity. I also welcome the distinguished panel of resource personnel and look forward to working with you. Also thank for the Dean of Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities and Head of the Department of Social Sciences who have contributed to make this event a reality despite all other commitment. So thank you very much all and wish you all the best and do well all the course participants. Thank you, sir, for those words of inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now have the honor of introducing our guest speaker, Professor Hajime Tosaki. Professor Hajime Tosaki holds a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and a PhD in economics from University of Kyoto, Japan. During his illustrious career, he has taught at four universities in Japan, which include the Tokyo University, Meiji University, Waseda University, and Tokyo Metropolitan University. Presently, he is working at J. Obling University, Japan, as a professor in economics. He also serves as an adjunct professor at the Department of Social Sciences, KDU. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Hajime Tosaki. Hi, everybody. I'm Hajime Tosaki, a professor of Open University in Japan and a visiting professor at the university. I'm sure that many of you already know me, but I would like to give you a brief greeting because I have been given this opportunity today thanks for uh, Professor Hemant. I'm very pleased that the university will be holding a course endowed by the European Foundation this year. We are able to hold this course again, thanks to deans and the staff of KDU, especially Professor Hemanta. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to them for this. Through this course, I hope that you will learn about the terms and possibilities of Asia as a whole, and think about how our Asia can achieve even greater development in the future. In this context, I would also like to talk about the following. And this is a different project, but last month, we are able to invite eight students from KDU to Japan. And they experience Japan. In fact, it is this endowed course that made it possible. We will continue to make efforts to invite some of you to Japan next year. Because of this, I would like everyone to actively learn from this endowed course. I would like to conclude my remarks by looking forward to your future initiatives. The corona disaster has come down. I hope to see you in person in the near future. Thank you very much.
Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, let me now humbly invite Mr. Nuan Herat, Head of the Department of Social Sciences, Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities to deliver the word of thanks. Deputy Vice Chancellor, Defense and Administration, Brigadier Vipul Chandasiri, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic Professor Sanat Dhammika, uh, Professor Hajimeto Saki, Deans and Directors, Registrar, Heads of Departments, Senior Military Officers, Academic and Unacademic Staff Members, and Dear Students. As the Head of the Department of Social Sciences, I would like to express my gratitude uh, to the Eurasia Foundation for their generous grant to the Department of Social Sciences to conduct this short course on cultural linkages towards an Asian ideology for the third consecutive time. It is indeed a great opportunity for our department to spearhead this great initiative of the Eurasia Foundation in the Sri Lankan context and I thank the Eurasia Foundation for having faith in the Department of Social Sciences for all these years. Secondly, let me thank Professor Hajime Tosaki, who is the cornerstone behind all these initiatives between the Department of Social Sciences and Japan. In particular, he has been instrumental in facilitating the Department of Social Sciences in applying for these grants and also conducting student exchange programs between the KDU and JF Oblin University in Japan. The professor is currently an adjunct professor at the Department of Social Sciences here at KDU, and we are extremely grateful for his invaluable contribution to our department. When it comes to Implementing programs like this, the leading role of our Vice Chancellor, Major General Melinda Piris, is vital for all the success we have achieved. It is mainly due to his visionary leadership that we have been able to come thus far, improving our international standing and stature as an emerging university. Therefore, I thank our Vice Chancellor for guiding us all the way towards this success. Also, a big thank you to our Deputy Vice Chancellor, Defense and Administration, Brigadier Vipula Chandrasiri, for gracing this occasion as the chief guest and always providing us the relevant support in handling the matters related to administration. Sir, we are extremely grateful as a department to you for facilitating us to run projects like this in an efficient manner. Moreover, I would like to thank uh, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Sanat Dhammika, all the senior military officers, especially the Dean of the Faculty of Defense and Strategic Studies, Commanding Officer Administration, Director IT, Adjutant, Assistant Adjutant, and other senior military officers for all the support extended to the Department of Social Sciences. When it comes to the Faculty of Management, Social Sciences and Humanities, I must mention the leading role of our Dean, Mr. Kitsiri Amartunga. He has always given his fullest support whenever we plan and implement programs like this. Sir, we are really indebted to you for the experience and maturity you have brought to our faculty. Thank you very much. Moreover, I'm also grateful to the non-academic staff of the university, especially the Bursa and his staff, the registrar, assistant registrar and her staff in our faculty, the non-academic staff of my department, especially our project assistants, and office assistants for their tireless efforts and commitment. Above all, there is one individual whom we must all thank, that is none other than Dr. Hemant Premra. Without his leading role in bringing down this generous scheme of funding, this program would not have become a reality. 
Therefore, we all must thank Dr. Hemanta, the senior lecturer at the Department of Social Sciences, for his valuable contribution to KDU. Last but not least, I would like to thank all the experts who delivered lectures in previous courses while sharing their knowledge with our students. And I hope all of you will continue to collaborate closely with our department in this course and in future programs. Finally, I would like to express my thanks to all the deans for nominating students and academic staff members of the Department of Social Sciences for their active participation in making this event a success. I hope all our students will make use of this opportunity to enhance their knowledge of the Asian community and its cultural linkages. I thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now kindly request you all to switch on your cameras in order to take a group photograph. 